Good morning, good morning. I'm on my way to the gym. It's 4.05 a.m. I was thinking, uh, I was thinking about Malachi this morning. And I was thinking of how he has it all figured out. I can remember as early as 13, him saying what he was going to do. And, and Malachi is extremely talented. He's extremely gifted. The problem in life is sometimes we, we just don't recognize our gift. And, and our brain is so trained to avoid anything that may create harm. Our brain is so function functional only to the point of avoiding fear avoiding anything that may cause pain even if it's unknown right I'll tell you what drives me I'll tell you what motivates me to get up I'll tell you what motivates me to go to the gym I'll tell you what motivates me doing push-ups and sit-ups every morning for the past two years I'll tell you what motivates me to write notes to my family I'll tell you what motivates me to read book after book after book after book I'll tell you what motivates me to keep going even when it looks like there's nothing going I'll tell you my secret it's a made-up mind I have a made-up mind you can't tell me no different. You can't tell me it won't work. You can't tell me I won't have what I'm going after. You can't tell me the failure is not a part of the road to success. What separates me from so many other people is I already have a made up mind. There's nothing you're gonna say that's gonna change that. I've ingrained it in my brain that failure is not an option. I've ingrained it in my brain that God did not bring me this far to let me fail now. I've ingrained it in my brain that I will be patient. I've ingrained it in my brain that my time will come. I've ingrained it in my brain that I will be faithful until that time. You know how you get there? You get there by looking back over your life and really saying, God, I shouldn't even be here. I shouldn't even be sitting in front of my beautiful home. I shouldn't even have the multiple options of vehicles. I shouldn't have my bills paid. I shouldn't have money in the bank. I have a made up mind. My past has given me permission to have a made up mind that I'm not just here by accident. I heard a pastor say, he said, until you start believing that you're blessed, you won't be blessed. Well, there's enough things in my past to tell me that I am blessed beyond measure. And that every man is issued his cup of endurance. If he doesn't put any more on you than you can bear, then what's the problem? I have a made up mind. That's my secret. I have decided already. I have burned all bridges of, of retreat. I am headed in one direction. And as much as I may get off course here and there, it's only because God has given me a lot of creativity, but I never veer too far away from what it is that I am ultimately committed to. I have a made up mind. And the crazy thing about kids is they come around eventually because eventually they'll be held accountable for what they need to do and they'll have to decide at that time what they want to make their mind up about. 
That's my secret. I have a made up mind. There's nothing you can tell me that's going to be any different. There's nothing that you can say to persuade me. I've read the books. I've sat in the seminars. I've talked to them who are doing it. I've had visions. I've had moments. There's nobody walking on the face of the surf that can tell me any different. I have a made up mind. And when you decide to make your mind up to something, that is what you'll do. But until then, that's my secret. I have a made up mind. Stay blessed.